हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू फाइंड ए फोर पॉइंट डी एफ टी ऑफ द सीक्वेंस एक्स ऑफ एन व्हिच इज गिवन एज वन जीरो जीरो वन यूजिंग लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इज आल्सो मैट्रिक्स मेथड वी नो डी एफ टी कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड यूजिंग एक्स एन इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू एन इंटू एक्स एन so here they have given 4 point dft therefore we can write n is equal to 4 if we take n is equal to 4 so here we need to write 4 cross 1 matrix for xn for wn we need to write 4 cross 4 matrix and for small xn again we need to write 4 cross 1 matrix so let us write the matrix for this let us write x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 since it is n is equal to 4 and we have written 4 cross 1 matrix so we need to write for wn 4 cross 4 matrix so one of the easiest method to find the matrix of wn is since they have given n is equal to 4 you write it 0 1 2 and 3 here and you write 0 1 2 and 3 here so this will help us to find the power of wn so since n is equal to 4 we can write it as w4 0 into 0 it is 0 so we can write w4 to the power of 0 in the same way 0 into 1 it is 0 0 into 2 it is 0 0 into 3 it is 0 so we can write w4 to the power of 0 w4 to the power of 0 w4 to the power of 0 in the same way 1 into 0 it is 0 2 into 0 it is 0 3 into 0 it is 0 so we can write w4 to the power of 0 here w4 to the power of 0 and w4 to the power of 0 next 1 into 1 it is 1 w4 to the power of 1 1 into 2 it is 2 w4 to the power of 2 1 into 3 it is 3 w4 to the power of 3 2 into 1 it is 2 w4 to the power of 2 2 into 2 it is 4 w4 to the power of 4 2 into 3 it is 6 w4 to the power of 6 3 into 1 it is 3 w4 to the power of 3 3 into 2 it is 6 w4 to the power of 6 3 into 3 it is 9 w4 to the power of 9 so this is one of the easiest way to write the matrix for w n so if they give 6 point dft at that case you need to take 0 1 2 3 4 5 and again here you need to write 0 to 5 if they give 8 point dft you need to write 0 to 7 here again here 0 to 7 just multiply those values and know what is the power of w next we need to write uh, this matrix which is uh, 4 cross 1 matrix so you can write x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 and x of 3 now we need to find all these twiddle factor values there are two methods method 1 is we know wn is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 also wn to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so using this analysis we can write w4 to the power of 0 will also be equal to 1 now we need to find different twiddle factor value like w4 to the power of 1 W4 to the power of 2, W4 to the power of 3, W4 to the power of 4, W4 to the power of 6, W4 to the power of 9. Now to find this value, we can write e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 4 into 1. Since we are calculating the value for W4 to the power of 1, so this we can write it as cos 2 pi by 4 minus j sine 2 pi by 4 so if we calculate this using calculator we can write cos 2 pi by 4 minus i sin 
2 pi by 4. So, if we calculate this, we will get the value as minus j. Using the same analysis, if we calculate for w 4 to the power of 2, it will be minus 1, w 4 to the power of 3, it will be plus j, w 4 to the power of 4, it will be 1, w 4 to the power of 6, it will be minus 1 and w 4 to the power of 9, it will be minus j. So, we can substitute all this value in this matrix and we can find the d of t. There is one more method to find the Tweedle factor value by taking the unit circle. If you take the unit circle, x axis is real axis, y axis is imaginary axis. Since it is 4 point DFT, we need to divide the circle into 4 half. So, I will take a point here, I will take one more point here, one more point here and one more point here. So, this value if it is 1 towards left hand side it will be minus 1 since it is a real axis, since it is imaginary axis here. So, we can write a j here and towards this point it will be minus j. Now, we will write different values for w. So, I will start from this point w 4 to the power of 0, we will move in clockwise direction. So, this value will be for w 4 to the power of 1, this value will be for w 4 to the power of 2, this value will be for w 4 to the power of 3. Again after that we need to repeat from this point w 4 to the power of 4, here it will be w 4 to the power of 5, it will be w 4 to the power of 6, it will be w 4 to the power of 7, again here it will be w 4 to the power of 8, here again it will be w 4 to the power of 9. So, from this we can identify the different values of Tweedal factor. Here w 4 to the power of 0 it is 1, w 4 to the power of 1 is minus j, you can see here w 4 to the power of 1 is minus j, w 4 to the power of 2 is minus 1, w 4 to the power of 3 is plus j, w 4 to the power of 4 is plus 1, w 4 to the power of 6 is minus 1 and w 4 to the power of 9 is minus j. So, there are two methods you can remember the Tweedle factor value. Let us substitute all this value here x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3 will be equal to w 4 to the power of 0, we will write it as 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1 and 1. W 4 to the power of 1, it is minus j. W 4 to the power of 2, it is minus 1. W 4 to the power of 3, it is j. W 4 to the power of 2, again it is minus 1. W 4 to the power of 4, it is 1. W 4 to the power of 6, it is minus 1. Again for W 4 to the power of 3, it is plus j w 4 to the power of 6, it is minus 1 and w 4 to the power of 9, it is minus j. After writing the value, we will write the values for x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. So, here it is x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. It is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, we need to multiply these values. So, you can use calculator for this. So, 1 into 1, 1 into 1 plus 1 into 0, it is 0 plus 1 into 0, it will be 0 plus 1 into 1, it will be 1. So, we got the answer as 2 for this. In the same way, multiply second row with this column. So, it will be 1 into 1 plus minus j into 0 plus minus 1 into 0 plus j into 1. So, it will be 1 plus j. So, in the same way multiply third row with this column, you will get 0 and if you multiply fourth row with this column, you will get 1 minus j. So, the obtained d of t 
we can write it as x of k is equal to 2 1 plus j 0 and 1 minus j. This is the four point D of T for the given sequence. 